Welcome back everyone to our gameplay series of Farming Simulator 17 using the Lone Oak Farm map. And I had hoped that we would have a beautiful morning. As you can see, it's 6 o'clock in the morning. Still pretty early as far as sunrise goes here in the game. But unfortunately, we got a lot of cloud cover. We got some fog rolling in. So not exactly perfect conditions. But we got a lot we need to try to do today. And I am going to go ahead and let's get this guy started. Now you can see here on the map that we've got a standard sort of down there and back uh, as opposed to the headlands that I've been using. And I'm doing that for a few re reasons that we'll talk about uh, along the way. But for right now, for time purposes, I want to go ahead and get this guy started. That looks like he has naturally skipped right by where I needed him to start. But we'll deal with that at a later time. And now he's going to... Yeah, as long as he gets going, we can deal with it. This is another one of those uh, routes that will only be used this one time because as we talked about, uh, I believe it was in the last video, that I plan on uh, cutting off uh, a portion of this field, probably somewhere along like that, or I might go something like that. I haven't decided yet, and it's not really a big deal to me uh, either way, but the reason I'm doing that is because this section of of trees in the middle causes all sorts of havoc with the ai in course play they want to go straight across that rather than going around it so we're going to have to cut off uh this bottom portion somehow and we we might end up making a separate field out of it as i mentioned last time but that i haven't done that yet because i wanted to try to get all of the wheat from this first planting if at all possible uh, so we can get obviously all the money we can get so that we can uh, purchase some more equipment, more fields, more of everything. So we got this guy up and rolling. We'll see how far we get in today's video. I don't want it to run too terribly long, but at the same time, there's a lot to get done. If we bring up the map real quick, you can see we are in the final stage of harvesting. So we're in perfect shape here on field 45. But our other two fields are also moving right along and getting much closer to being ready to harvest as well and i would like to get through as much harvesting as we can in today's video again we'll just see how uh, that all goes now i can also tell you that uh, after having been away from the game for a few weeks now uh, because actually episode two was something that i, I recorded uh, a while back uh, actually before uh, before my health issues really kicked in and so this is the first episode of this series that I will have recorded in a few weeks. And it's almost to the point of feeling like a brand new game to me. Uh, and I'm, it's taken me a while to remember all of the little things I need to do uh, in order to make all of this happen. So bear with me as I work through some of these uh, issues and trying to get back into the swing, swing of things. I wish I could guarantee that, that yes, I'm going to be back on a, a regular posting schedule. But no, I, I can't can't unfortunately offer you anything uh, like that. The only thing I can offer you is um, I'll tell you that I'm going to do everything I can to make as many videos as I can because making videos is something I really enjoy and gives me an opportunity to uh, sort of step away from the everyday uh, health issues that I'm currently dealing with. All right, this guy is up and running. So we'll go ahead and get rid of some of this stuff. I tell you what, let's go ahead and get rid of that as well. Okay, let's just make sure real quick that he gets back going where he needs to. Okay, yeah, that's perfect. That's exactly what I need for him to do. Now we're going to head over and actually we're going to get into our uh, our tipper and hop in our tractor that's carrying the tipper and we're going to get this thing loaded up. So I've already got uh, a course that is mapped out for this guy and we're gonna hope that this works out uh, let's see we are on field 45 and empty combine full and if we take a quick look at how this works so I've got this guy he comes in just on the edge of the field here and that's so that hopefully I can use the auto function in order for him to find the combine because in the future I plan on using multiple combines per field so I'm trying to look ahead a little bit with that. But I've got this guy starting over here. As you can see, I didn't quite line up all of my waypoints exactly perfect. But I don't think that's going to cause 
too much of an issue and if it does I can always rework the route so it won't be a big deal as far as that's concerned uh, let's go ahead and back him up a little bit all right we've already got I think everything that we need all right so all right he's already gonna go ahead and drive behind the combine and with that in mind uh, let's see he's gonna start at 50 percent we're actually gonna move this up a little bit for future reference and have him start at about let's say about 90 percent and then drive on at uh, let's see where do we want to go here uh, let's have him drive on at about 30 percent I think I want to keep this pretty low because I want to make sure that our guy gets uh, everything unloaded in a timely manner and we keep his uh, keep our combine working as much as we possibly can all right so I think and well there you can see automatic search it worked out perfectly and again it should as long as you have I believe it's the first waypoint is what it looks for if that first waypoint for this path is on the field uh, where the combine is then it will it should automatically find it so in this case it worked out perfectly so we've got we're gonna follow along with this guy and we're gonna see exactly how he does you can see this is quite a lengthy path that he's using and I've done that on purpose again none of this is you know anything that I'm married to uh, forever and ever these are just things that I'm testing out I'm trying to be as deliberate and give sort of a, a wide area uh, to work in as much as I possibly can uh, so for right now I'm having these guys go all the way this is actually field 30 that we don't own at this point this is field 35 here that we do own and is currently planted with uh, with wheat uh, but we're going past field 30 and we're sort of making a a wide turn here and we'll see how that works out if it works out the way I think it will then who knows maybe at some point we will shorten this off and go down through here but looks like our guy is gonna make all sorts of turns before he goes on his way but as long as he will eventually get to where he needs to go I will be fine as long as he doesn't continually run circles which it looks like oh uh, looks like he is going to do so we're gonna try and get him going there we go nothing like a few glitches to get you started and let's see okay looks like he's gonna go max speed on the fields which is what I did when I was recording this or excuse me not just on the fields but uh, actually on the roads itself Okay, so you can see he doesn't have all that much here. A little over 5,200 here. Uh, let's actually go back to our combine and see. Yeah, he's just at 13%. So very nice. That went as planned. And I'm actually glad that he's moving along because I need to see if, if he's going to run this route correctly. This will be the first time that I've seen it as well. And boy, that fog is really thick this morning. Again, it would be nice if we could get some nice, bright sunshine, some good growing weather, but uh, unfortunately, it doesn't look like we're going to get that right now. Okay, you can see here on the right, stage of growth for uh, field 44. And then here we come by the main entrance to the farm itself. Now, this guy's going to slow way down because that's what I did when I was recording, and as you can see, he's getting his speed from the recording which I like to do as much as I can simply because things can get out of hand, not necessarily when you're running 20 something miles an hour, but particularly with uh, the tractor trailer rig, he can, when he gets up over 40 miles an hour, taking some of these turns like that can be uh, quite an issue. So we're gonna try to keep him out of that, if at all possible. All right, looks like this guy's gonna run. And keep in mind, this right now he's running down the edge of field 30 but in the future once we have field 30 this will no longer be the edge because we'll be rolling some of this about 12 meters of it back so this will end up being part of the road so that's kind of why he's doing this right now okay so far so good he is since he's on the edge of a field right now he's not going all that fast let's check back in on our combine 33 percent uh, one of the things you have to balance here is we want this guy to go and unload and and continually unload again just to sort of keep with that living world feel i want to see as much movement on the map as is uh, reasonable but if it turns out we're getting 
we're getting this guy making such a long route that our combine's having to sit still for a long period of time, then that's no good. Uh, we certainly don't want that. Uh, in fact, let's go ahead and let's go ahead and make this at 40, we'll say 45 percent. That should help us out a little bit on this. So again, this guy should, if I've done this correctly, he should come right in behind. Again, this is field 35 over here to our right right now. And you can see I've done some work with, with the roller and it has given us plenty of room, I think, uh, back here to work with the vehicles that we're going to need to have coming in and out. So this guy's going to come in and he should slow right down and unload the tipper into the silos. And then, of course, on the other side of the silo, we've got this guy. And let's see, let's get him set up. It's going to be a little while before he takes off, but let's go ahead and have him set up and... Okay, there you can see it comes out of the silo. We've now got all of the grain that we just put in is now in the back, but again, he's nowhere near full at this point. All right, we come back over and check on the status of our combine. He's at 54%, so he's doing quite nicely. And lo and behold, here we are again. So our guy is back in here before too long. He'll be exactly where he needs to be and waiting once again for our combine. So let's head back over to our combine. Let's see if he makes this turn. Did I give him enough room? Oh yeah, just barely. Just barely. I mean, we needed every bit of that 12 extra meters over here in order for him to make that corner. All right, excellent. So we're up and running. So as I mentioned, uh, and I don't want to harp on this a whole lot because uh, quite frankly, as I mentioned, I use this as an escape from real life. Uh, but things are definitely not back to normal for me. I'm still in quite a bit of pain, uh, although I'm better off than I was a couple of weeks ago for sure, which is why I'm here uh, recording now. But I really wanted to spend some time with you guys because I really enjoy doing not just this series, but uh, any in all the series that we do here on the channel from time to time. And so this is a good escape for me, and hopefully this will give me a chance to get back into uh, the swing of things. I appreciate the messages that you guys have sent over, uh, the well wishes. I really appreciate that. Uh, I continue to work hard because, you know, uh, I'm not the type to give up on this kind of thing. I keep trying new things, trying to, trying to get better, trying to get as good as I can be uh, health-wise, but... Like I said, I don't talk about it a whole lot because that's not really the point of this channel. Uh, this channel is all about having fun playing video games and, and finding out new and, and fun ways to play those games. Uh, but I do want to let you guys know that, uh, that things are better, but still not where they need to be for me to feel comfortable uh, with a more of a normal posting schedule. So I'm just... I'll play it by ear and do as much as I can when I can, and uh, hopefully you guys will understand. So, so far, here we are, 75% fill level, and I think he's going pretty good. Again, in the future, uh, there is, if we come back over, there is a, a feature, uh, I call it new. It's new, I believe, on the release version of Course Play, uh, the public release version as of maybe a month or so ago. Uh, but it's been in the developer version for some time, I believe. But there's a function called Combine Convoy. And the purpose of that is so that you can have easily have multiple combines on a field without them catching up to each other. Because one of the worst things to have happen with multiple combines on a field is to, you know, you, you get the first guy started, and then you wait a little bit, maybe a row or two, start the second guy. But at some point they end up getting too close together and it causes some havoc. Well, we don't want that. Uh, so Combine Convoy allows these guys to keep somewhere around 100 meters, I believe is what the distance is. I could be wrong on that. But it always manages the distance between the two combines such that if the first combine is, as is about to be the case here, if he stops to be emptied, then the second combine will stop 
as well when he gets within, again, around that 100 meter distance so that they don't get too close to each other or run into each other and cause problems. So I really like that. And in the future, I would really like to use that on the field so that we can get work done as quickly as possible. So obviously this is going to take uh, quite a bit of time as we are just getting started. As you can see in the mini map in the bottom corner, I mean, we're, we're not even a fourth of the way uh, done quite yet with this field. And I don't want to have, uh, the point of this series isn't for you guys to see literally everything that goes on uh, on these farms. So I think what I'm going to do here is I'm going to cut away for now and then we'll be back in a little bit once we are about to finish up with field number 45. Well, as it usually does, things did not exactly go according to uh, my plan. So we are now actually done with uh, field 45. Uh, we had some issues though with the combine and getting it unloaded and stuff, but I dealt with all that. And uh, also the fog actually got worse. So the video was looking pretty terrible. So I decided just to skip past that part of it. Um, it wasn't all that much trouble with field 45, but I made some adjustments and we'll look at that here in just a moment to the field. But for right now, that one field 45 got us nearly, nearly 100% done uh, as far as being full in our trailer. So very close to it. So we're gonna go ahead and let this guy uh, go. Now, the prices have changed quite a bit. Uh, we were at somewhere in the 900 to $930 region on both of these. Now we are at the $1,300 region. So I really like this. So obviously we're gonna take that one. Uh, this guy, we've got him on his course. He's gonna head out, uh, take a left at the end. He's gonna head down here to Lone Wolf, make his, his sale come back, and then come back around to uh, his starting location. So that's sort of the route that I'm hoping he's going to take. Again, as with everything else, we're going to see if this works like I hope it does. But for now, we've got 46,419 liters, uh, and we're going to be making quite a bit of money off that. 1,300, anything 1,300 or more, I consider to be a really good price on the grain. So we are going to be excited about that. And now let's move over to, you can see right here, uh, this guy is actually trying his hardest to finish up with all of um, his duties. So he's trying real hard. But if you look right over here to the right, let's actually get some of this stuff out of the way. I like to keep all of those waypoints on when I'm really looking at how things are working out. But if you look over here to the right, we're actually gonna hop over here what I decided to do for now is I decided to keep as much of this field as I could. So essentially I come over here and I rolled just a couple of lanes, not very much. I rolled a couple of lanes right here at the edge of where it starts to turn. And I feel like this is the most we can feasibly keep and, and keep things somewhat steady. Uh, but the reason why I'm having this guy continue on over here is because I do hold out some hope that we can still use this area over here uh, at some point in the future. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. And who knows, I might come over here manually next time with the combine and take care of this on my own. But for now, as we walk out here across the field, farmers everywhere cringe. But <laughs> this, I feel like, is our best shot to keep the maximum amount of this field that we can, again, without any uh, issues with the AI. Now, the good part about this is if it turns out that, nope, it still gives us trouble uh, because where we had trouble, and let me show you where that actually happened. Uh, and this will give you another indication as to why I chose this area to swap over. Of course, we know this part all back in there uh, is not really accessible from any point over here on this side of the field in a straight line. But where we actually got stuck was right over in here with the combine and then we had the trailer trying to get down in there. And so that's where it actually, uh, things took a turn for the worse. So I thought if I can cut it off just before that, then maybe everything will be fine. So that's my hope. Again, trying to maximize as much of the harvest as we can within reason. 
Uh, but I feel like all of that is going according to plan. Let's hop back on board. Uh, you can see I've got everything sitting over here in our little makeshift uh, storage area. Let's see how our guy is doing as he gets, again, you can see still very, very thick fog over here. Uh, but again, you know, plans change and I had hoped to be able to consolidate as much of the harvest in this particular video. Some real world things aren't going to allow that to happen. I'm going to run out of time uh, to record right here. So I'm going to have to uh, end the video short with just getting the harvest done on field 45. Uh, but that's okay. We got plenty of time uh, to, to deal with this as we get more and more fields. All right, let's see how much we get. We're, at, we're down to about 14,300. Uh, and again, most of that is due to AI payments. We are, uh, of course, going to have to pay our AI. And so that's why we are down this much. All right, so this is going to be a very nice amount for us. Okay, almost empty. You can see on the left-hand side of the screen, we are now done with... Uh, the sowing of the wheat on the field again we're sticking with wheat here at the beginning till we get all the kinks worked out hopefully we get all the kinks worked out and we've got just under sixty one thousand dollars here so that is very nice now we got a small loan that we're going to need to pay off with part of that proceeds but oh this is why you turn off the traffic sometimes but it looks like we might just get away with this and so we backed up traffic a little bit, but no collisions. We'll take it. Uh, again, I would love to leave traffic on if at all possible. But if it's not possible, then uh, that's also fine too. Because at some point in the future, we are going to have a lot of traffic on our own. Just from all the tractors and all of the tippers going back and forth uh, to the field. So if we bring up... Let's see. Let's go ahead and use the mini map for this. And I'll get my mouse back. So what I'm looking at doing, just to give you an idea of sort of the long-term uh, plan, and all of this is subject to change based on how everything works out uh, or doesn't work out, as the case may be, but I plan on sort of jumping ahead uh, from time to time so that we can earn enough money to make some more purchases because I really want to uh, expand our territory and buy more equipment, and that's going to take a little time to get enough money uh through each harvest, because right now we only have the three fields. We got a nice 60, roughly $61,000 harvest on field 45. Naturally, it won't be as quite that much uh, next time, but still pretty close to that. Still a very nice harvest that we're going to have on field 45. And then we'll have two other fields, but that's, of course, not going to be enough to purchase all of the tractors and combines and tippers and, and all of that kind of thing that we're going to need over time. But I do think it's going to give us a very, very good start. And at some point in the future, we'll, we'll be at a point where we'll be able to, uh, assuming things work out, we'll be able to purchase one, maybe even uh, two or three extra fields every time we do uh, a complete harvest cycle on all of our fields. But for now, uh, we're going to have to jump ahead a little bit here and there in order to get this series moving along uh, to where I want it to be. Otherwise, if we just did... You know one field per video we'd be 50 videos into this series and i don't think we're going to quite make it that long in this series so the next time we come back uh again i'll be jumping ahead uh but for now things went pretty good overall on field 45 and i'm excited about the future so thank you very much for joining me and stay tuned as we continue our gameplay series of farming simulator 17.